It is common knowledge that the international trade in plants and vegetable products is the principal vector for the introduction of harmful and dangerous organisms, which can cause considerable damage, both from the economic and ecological standpoint. The speed of commercial exchanges can cause mutations and sudden increases in the virulence of pathogens already present in a country. And this seems to be the case for a bacterial infection that afflicts actinidia, a plant better known by the commercial name of its fruit, the kiwi. The bacterial canker affecting actinidia is known by the acronym PSA, from the Latin name of the pathogen, Pseudomonas syringae pathova actinidiae. This bacterial infection was first found in the early 1980s in China and Japan. Afterwards, in the 1990s, the outbreak spread to both South Korea and Italy, although only sporadically. Since 2008, a more aggressive form of this pathogen has appeared, especially in Europe, causing widespread damage in Italy to plants bearing yellow-fleshed kiwi fruit than on the more widely grown green-fleshed cultivar. Pseudomonas syringae pathova actinidi can penetrate plants through natural or man-made apertures, such as pruning wounds, or else through the flowers, preventing the formation of fruit. The bacteria can also infect the pollen, thus spreading the disease even further. The bacteria's survival and proliferation are favoured by high levels of humidity and moderate temperatures. The organism remains active on wood and plant residue, and for brief periods in water and soil as well. The greatest risk is during pruning and harvesting. These activities, especially during the winter, can make it easier for the bacteria to penetrate the plants, where they survive and become active when temperatures become more favourable. When the plants come out of winter dormancy, the new leaves show necrotic spots, often surrounded by chlorotic areas. Withered shoots can be seen on the branches. When cortical tissue is removed from the trunk and cordons, heavily infested plants reveal extensive browning and reddening of the underlying tissues. The affected branches show typical cankers, which sometimes emit a reddish or orange substance. These drops are due to bacterial emissions and should not be confused with the solid orange lumps caused by pruning cuts. The most serious infections can result in the plant's death. Pseudomonas syringae pathova actinidi is spread by various factors – rain, wind, insects, animals and man – making it necessary to adopt preventive measures. It is advisable to avoid aspersion irrigation systems, drastic pruning and the use of tractors and other farm equipment within infected areas. Frequent and careful monitoring of all plants is fundamental, as is the use of special footwear and the disinfection of pruning tools. Plants used for new orchards must be certified by the Plant Health Service. Plants used for new orchards must be certified by the Plant Health Service. This guarantees compliance with the applicable norms and the good health of the plants. The fight against the bacterial canker caused by PSA is a complex and difficult task due to the pathogen's aggressiveness and virulence as well as to the fact that no really efficient pesticides have been developed. To contain the infection, the afflicted cordon must be eliminated, starting at least 70 centimetres below the canker. If the main trunk is stricken, it may be necessary to remove the entire plant. The wood and cuttings from pruning should be burned. 
In areas where the regional plant health service has found several outbreaks of this bacterial canker, all infected plants must be destroyed. Plant health technicians and inspectors are available to provide producers with all the necessary instructions. For more information on this disease or to report suspected cases, please consult our websites or contact us by email. Thank you.